Welcome to story time. I want to wish a very happy Friday to each and every one of you. Today's story is entitled The Sweetest Witch Around. Oh, so I guess for this one I have to pull up my hat. <laughs> Let's see if this works okay. All right, so The Sweetest Witch Around. This book is written by, let me find the author, Allison McGee and Harry Bliss. <clears throat> I'm the bravest witch around. Why is that? Because I'm the only witch who's not afraid of the humans. Those other witches are even afraid of the word human. I gave up on them a long time ago. There's one I still have hope for though. My little sister, Witchling. I'm going to teach her things that other witches never will, especially about, um, you know what. <laughs> Study the humans and learn their mysterious way, Witchling. They love dressing up on Halloween, especially like us. They love pumpkins, especially the goopy innards. And they love something disgusting that they call candy. Can you say candy? Candy, yum! No, 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 witchling. Candy, yuck. Candy, yuck. Candy, yum, said the cat. Well, would you look at that? My little sister actually ate a piece of human candy. Ugh, that's one brave witchling. I can't wait to teach her other things, like haunting and screeching, and best of all, flying. Stop, wait! Candy? No, no, witchling, you don't know how to fly yet. Holy catnip, said the cat. This calls for reinforcements. Hang on, kitty, we're going in. Whew, so far so good. Candyland. <laughs> Study the ways of humans, witchling. This is what they do on Halloween. Trick or treat! No, witchling! No candy! Yuck! Candy? Yum, said witchling. <laughs> She's really trying to keep her little sister from eating that candy, I tell ya. If you think you're going to steal my little sister humans, you've got another thing coming. Just let me get out of this tree and, and... <sighs> Meanwhile, trick or treat! <laughs> so it looks like she was chasing her little sister. And she got stuck in the tree, see? And the little sister really just wanted to get some candy, it looks like. Hey, 
Hang on, witchling. We're on our way. <clears throat> Candy? 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 Hmm, Candy. The witchling seems a little busy while her sister's hanging up in that tree, you see her? <laughs> and there's witchling getting her candy. Step on it, kitty. Free the hostage. Careful, kitty. Try to act human. Holy whiskers. Exhausted, said the cat. Hop on! Drat! Your little adventure has come to an end. Yikes! Something's got to give here, witchling. And it's not going to be me, or you, or Kitty. Wow, look at that costume. They're flying, said a man looking above them. We're heading straight for a tree. Broom, pull up. Witchling, the time has come. Drop the candy. <laughs> She's really serious about her not having that candy, I tell you. Very overprotective sister. It's raining treats. It worked. Full speed ahead. Oh, look what they did with all that candy. All of Witchling's candy looks like it just dropped out and everybody's happy to get it. <laughs> it's raining candy. Well, that wasn't exactly the way I planned it. But I learned something today. My little sister is the bravest and sweetest witchling around. I wonder where she got that from. Wow, that was actually a really brief story. <laughs> so this story was entitled The Sweetest Witch Around. And it was a very cute little story. I just got it from the library today. Such that was kind of short and we have some people coming in. I think I might pick up another story and read it. I have a little bit of time. So why not? This story is entitled Trick or Treat in Cincinnati. Now I don't know who all is out there watching out of city or out of state, but I'm Layla and I live in Cincinnati, Ohio right now. So this should be very interesting to learn about. Trick or Treat in Cincinnati. Ooh, let's see. <laughs> this one's written by Eric James, illustrated by Carl West. <clears throat> The moon's out on Halloween. The sky is starry bright. Above the city of Cincinnati appears an eerie light. It darts behind the scattered clouds. It zips from town to town. It hovers over Finley Market, then slowly heads on down. I really like the pictures in this book so far. A ramp shoots out, a hatch appears, smoke pours into the air. 
The chilling alien silhouette gives owls and wolves a stare. It steps out of the thick white fog. Its skin is a neon green. This alien is without a doubt. Without a doubt what I wonder. Mm. What do you think it is? Is there a specific type of alien you think they're talking about? Let's see. This alien is without a doubt the cutest thing I've seen. Welcome to Cincinnati. Well, look at that. <laughs> he's kind of cute. If you think he's kind of cute, maybe give a thumbs up in the comments if you're able to. Look at that. <laughs> Oakley, Alt Park, or Mount Adams. There's just so much to do. And what about Mirror Lake? But first, a trip to the zoo. He pulls out his transporter and waves it in the air. Now in the spot where he just stood, there's nobody there. He appears in Clifton and wanders all around making sure that he checks off each landmark that he's found. Let's see, the top five tourist spots. The Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens, Museum Center at Union Terminal, the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center, Coney Island, and Music Hall. Maybe put a thumbs up or raise your hand if you've ever been to any of these places in Cincinnati. Now, this is where the alien's at right now, it looks like. He zaps over to Fountain Square to take a little look. Snapping selfies as he goes and posting them to Facebook. That's awesome. <laughs> but where is everybody? Are they staying in tonight? He climbs up high to take a peek and gets a nasty fright. For all around this spooky town, the streets are jammed and heaving. Monsters, monsters everywhere. It's time that he was leaving. I'd better run, the alien says. I'm not a big, brave hero. Oh no, my gizmo doesn't work. The battery gauge says zero. They're closing in, there's no escape. He scrunches up his eyes. The monster's all around him, but he gets a big surprise. Hey, high five, dude, a vampire shouts. Great costume, shrieks a ghoul. A little ghost tugs at his arm and says, I think you're cool. So you don't want to eat me then? The little alien asked. <laughs> they laughed until they're so red-faced they must take off their mask. antenna, smiles the ghost, while giving them a flick. <laughs> Children shrieked, what happens next? It's just the coolest trick. Jack-o'-lanterns all take off and float into the sky. Oh wow, they gasp, it looks like your real life alien guy. saw a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns just floating in the sky. <laughs> Especially in downtown Cincinnati. The children dance excitedly. 
They shout, can you do more? The alien shows them lots of tricks as they go door to door. These antics impress everyone, which comes in really handy because it means before too long, their bags are filled with candy. It's getting late, I'd better go, the alien says at last. I'll promise I'll come back next year. Cincinnati is a blast. They take him to his spaceship and say their sad goodbyes. They wait for him to start it up and zoom into the skies. something isn't right because it makes the weirdest sound. The witch points underneath and asks, what is that on the ground? <laughs> His spaceship has a fuel leak. There's thick goo everywhere. Aw shucks, he says. It looks like I'm not going anywhere. and shouts, come on guys, chew! We'll stretch the gum across the hole and stick it down like glue. Sweet, said the mummy. We'll fill in the tank with candy. We've got buckets of the stuff. Throw it in, up to the brim. That should be just enough. It looks like there's some teamwork going on here. That's awesome. spaceship is now ready. The alien turns the key. The engine roars. The spaceship soars and zooms off with a whee! Off he goes. <laughs> but now it's diving back to Earth. The children shake with fear. He's just flying past to wave and say, See you next year. Happy Halloween, Cincinnati. <laughs> wow, so that concludes Trick or Treat in Cincinnati. So the two books that I read are entitled The Sweetest Witch Around and Trick or Treat in Cincinnati. All right, you all, well, I hope you have a very good afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in to Halo Art Storytime. Be sure to see you next Friday. Have a good day, and don't forget how incredibly smart and brilliant you are. All right, bye. <laughs>